co-main event. Light heavyweight fight, Gordy Van de Groove, Teddy Grabowski. Ready? Maxwell Ponderosa, your Ready? referee, with his medical condition. And there was a bumble. His bumble. Yeah. And Randy, I always mention it. Would you like to tell the, the, the lovely viewers about Maxwell Ponderosa's unfortunate ailment? Oh, I'd love to. Uh, I don't know how much of an ailment it is, but Maxwell Ponderosa has a bleeding vagina. Actually does. Legitimate medical condition. As a male, by the way, who just has a bleeding He's vagina. Very much, very much one. And, and, and a solid referee. No problem with him. Well, goddamn, he needs to, like, he double downs on maxi pads. He certainly does, especially we had to tell him he had to for these spice speed. There's enough blood in, in the in the cage on the mat as it is. At least he doesn't free bleed. For a third person bleeding, sorry? He's not a free bleeder, so that's good. Uh, I don't think he'd be employed if he was. That, that's the thing. And here we go, Teddy Grabowski closing that distance. That reach advantage. Corgi has a four inch reach advantage. He also has a three inch height advantage, so. Grabowski keeping it close up to the cage, clinching, using a lot of dirty boxing. Very smart, very uh, good sound strategy. Uh, Grabowski has very much, some, very much has some knockout power as well. But so does Corgi. These guys have scored so many knockouts. Corgi Vandergroove, every single, both these fighters actually, every single one of their fights have ended via knockout or TKO. I did not know that. None of these fighters have gone to a decision. None of these fighters have ever, obviously, won or lost by submission. All of their fights, all eight of Corgi's, all nine of Teddy Grabowski's, have ended on the winning or losing end by knockout or TKO. That is fucking crazy. That is an amazing little bit of stat there. I never knew that. Maybe that will change tonight. Who knows? It could be very interesting. I mean, I, I think the fans all want to see a nice knockout, a nice finish. I know, I fucking do. I can't, but yeah, Randy, we love it when you scream. We saw the eight, the top 25 HCL knockouts. You screamed during almost all of them. Yeah. It was wonderful. I can't help it. It's, it's fine. It happens. I, I can't it's, help it. It's, it, that's why, that's why you're incorrigible, Randy. That's why the folks love you. I still don't the know. The people that. love Randy. I, I still don't know what that means. It's fine. Fine. Encourageable? Like, yes. like, you want me to encourage Yes, we can encourage you. Okay. Let's all encourage Randy. You can do it, Randy. I got and that'll this. bring an end to the first round. I got this. I can do it. A bit of a feeling okay, out process. Place, okay? Feeling up that. process, you know, with uh, one place, of the uh, okay. And if you're behind him, that flux. means that's, a, that's, a, that's the way to break the clinch. When you clinch, yeah, when you clinch, bang in the knees, and he tries that inside and trip. And we I see that the, the, the towels here. Not a lot of action, just kind of a feeling out process for the first two. I think when they both know they have, they respect each other's uh, punching power, uh, the striking power, of course, the kicks from Corgi Vandergroof. Uh, both of them have to watch out for one another's uh, knockout capabilities. So I think this is a bit of a. That might have been one of the best strikes of the round. That overhand. That's pretty good, yeah. From Grabowski and throwing a, t a takedown as well. He's really become more. Both these fighters have become more well-rounded mixed martial arts. They started as a, stri a striker kickboxing for Corgi. Teddy, of course, a boxer. And they've uh, really opened up into Gentlemen, full mixed ready? martial. They blossomed ready? into I, full mixed martial artists. I was gonna say blossom as well because I thought that's that fun. sounded pretty fucking stupid. That's because you, you couldn't stop talking about that old TV show to me before the show. I mean, Joey oh, Lawrence is a fucking cutie pie. I mean, like, let's let's be honest here. Fair enough. And that, that little sequence will make you say whoa in the sense that Grabowski dropped Corgi, dove in for the punch, and nearly missed. Corgi kind of went flying backwards, just kind of avoid the punching power of Grabowski. Whoa! And he's got he's got Corgi on the back foot right now. Vandegrief and his unfortunate mustache. I mean, he loves Charlie Chaplin. He does, but you, you got to understand that that most people don't look at that and think Charlie Chaplin when they see that mustache. It's really unfortunate. They think Michael and Grabowski switching his stance to a southpaw. They think Michael Jordan. Obviously, they do at this point now. Yeah, it's really also still kind of unfortunate. Apparently, terrible human being. I heard someone has a conspiracy theory that uh, he uh, 
Well, you know, we're not going to go into that. That's, that, that's, for, that's, for, that's for the podcasts to talk about, I suppose. You know, we're not going to yeah. waste our time with that. Yeah. And Grabowski, oh, traps the arm. Goes to mount for Corgi. Trying to posture up here. Two and a half minutes to go in the second round. This is the halfway point in the fight. And Corgi is cut. He's got a cut over his right eye. Oh, Grabowski looking to rain down some punches. Hammer fists. He scored knockouts in that position before. He has a knockout victory over Montpellier Nash that was scored in the last minute of the fight. After losing much of that fight, he, out of nowhere, just rained down blows. Wow. And right now, he's just he's just mauling Corgi at this point. Just stay close. Neutralize the reach advantage, the height advantage that Corgi has. Forge Earth, motherfuckers. Basically so. And Teddy Grabowski, this is a rejuvenated Grabowski. Still punching from the clinic, from from the, from the mounted position. A lot of ground and pound, less than a minute to go. He, you can tell he's looking for that knockout blow. He's winding up, and I think Corgi can see it, and he's blocking too well. And nice roll by there. That was really Corgi good. Able yeah. to get into the into the guard position again shows the ground game improvement for both these fighters. Both much very much so prefer to strike and prefer to get knockouts. Uh, and looks like there's uh, some blood coming out of the nose of Grabowski. I don't know when he got that. Might just be uh, might just be reading from from something. Possibly. I can't really see. And that will end the first round. Kobe able to stand up, but not enough time. And he kind of stumbles back to his corner. I don't know if he's on wobbly up. legs or what it is. Randy, this has been a bit of a quiet fight. We're still kind of waiting for the that big pop of a that moment. Big boom, to yeah. It hasn't really quite happened yet. Like there's been some I feel good like it's, shit. It's still simmering. Yeah, they're building up to it. I don't mind that. It means big fucking knockout at the end. I don't mind it at least. I don't mind that as well. I think that's a good. Uh, a nice little, uh, a, a nice, uh, a nice build up, a, a nice denouement to this fight. Good luck, thank, thank you. Ah. And good head movement by Grabowski well, using his, using no. his smaller size like five minutes is, is to his advantage to, to his advantage, to his becoming an advantage by being able to slip o uh, underneath uh, the punches of Vandergroup a little easier. Easy for him to evade and uh, what's her Randy? name again, Randy? Africanized Randy? killer. That's how That's does that get any bit extra business? Oh, uh, like a femme fatale feel, I guess. I I guess. It's very weird. Shrugging, I don't know. Anyway, third round, final round. Still, Grabowski in the yellow. I, Corgi Vandergroof in the silver with the Holland flag trim. I leave my stinger in her and then die afterwards. Uh, we'll do, maybe that's what happens. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's actually what happens. And Grabowski working from the clinch has him up against the cage and pressing up against that octagon-like structure of the wall. And Ben will be able to circle out. Good circling. That's a leg kick. Follows up with the right hand. There's the head kick that Ben is known for. Grabowski blocks it though, and using that push kick very smart. That's what Ben has to keep using to stay away, keep his distance. Use his extra reach to keep Grabowski from getting inside, and Grabowski is just plowing forward. Nice exchange. And now it's Grabowski on the back foot, under three minutes to go. Ponderosa watching closely, knowing this could end in a moment's notice. Boom. And you see a clinch. Well, both of them whiff on what was looking like knockout blows. Just amazing the defense these guys can have. After two full rounds, two uh -oh. and a half full rounds of fighting, the cardio is amazing, especially on a guy like Grabowski who came into HCL wondering if this was going to be the twilight of his career. He's got a bit of a renaissance to his career. Oh, and an uppercut! Oh, Kent, this might be Grabowski it. Grabowski is hurt. Grabowski is hurt. Down he uh, goes. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Excuse me, Vandergroup is hurt. Uh. I was saying Grabowski is hurt. He's trying to finish this one off. Ah. Uh. Vandergroof. It's got to be it. Yep, uh, Grabowski no. is the end of it. With just under two minutes to go, Teddy Grabowski puts an end to this fight. No decision for either of them. via TKO. Neither. And Vanderhoof is hurt. Yeah. Oh, he is. He just got. He just got helped up he by Monrose, and he's up. calling in for some help. This is not good. He got knocked. Those were a couple of unprotected shots. He got knocked the fuck out, man. I mean, Ponderosa gave him a chance to defend himself, but there's a couple punches right there. And I don't know if Vanderhoof was knocked loopy from that. But yeah, you can see the hands just kind of stop moving, and he kind of just rolls over. That's that's scary, but 
Ladies and gentlemen, Thankfully he's referee up. Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest. At that's three that's minutes, a relief. Uh, Corey Vanderwerf will live to fight another day, of course. But it's Teddy Grabowski's turn to challenge Paul Bunyip. I don't think we've ever had that chance that fight before. I don't think so either. Let me think. I'll... You know what? I take it back. Teddy Grabowski did lose to Paul Bunyip in November of 2013. That's the only time they wow. fought. All right. And it's going to be a great rematch. I think Teddy Grabowski, knowing the belt is on the line, the championship's on the line,